I'm celeb obsessed. I can spend hours online looking at pictures of celebrities. They're the definitives of what I think success is. Beauty, glamour, wealth, fame. But I've also always wondered whether success can only be measured by celebrity and fame. I'm a senior in high school and my life's about to begin. And I probably won't be the next Beyonce, Rihanna, or Kim Kardashian. So I need to look to other places and other people for examples of what it means to be successful. Here are the stories of three everyday heroes who show me the true definition of success. put something bigger, something other than yourself first. I mean, that, that's heroism. Mr. Gentile, my social studies teacher, is an Iraq war veteran. He's successful because he was a part of something he believes in and fought bravely for our nation as a soldier. I joined the military while I was still in high school. I was 17 years old. And then in 2003, I was called up to, to go to Iraq. We came in and, and these people, they would run. They were, they were running from their homes that were about 100, maybe 200 yards off the road, the main road that we were driving by, and the dust was kicking up. And they would run and they, they greeted us as like liberators. And they were throwing palms into, into the streets and they were waving a smile. They were so happy that we were there. And I'll just never, I mean, that would, really, really blew my mind. It was even more interesting that on the way back, those same people were throwing rocks at us on the way home. I don't think these soldiers, they don't want recognition. They don't, they're not seeking to be celebrities or famous. That's not their, their definition of success. You know, their, their definition of success, at least mine, was to, to honorably serve my country. A lot of people don't have the family that I had. So all they have left, they don't have anywhere to turn, so they turn to the streets. But that's still not an excuse. For me, it's not an excuse. Janique is successful because he's weeded out all the negative in his life and he's only seen the positive. My relationship with my mom was like any other person, any other child's relationship with their mom. I was about 14, 15 when she passed away. For a while, I didn't see the point of anything. I didn't want to succeed. I was tired of going to school. I was tired of everything. I just wanted to be left alone. But, you know, my family, they didn't see it that way. Before she passed, I knew I needed to do well in school and do well in other aspects of my life to succeed. The thing I miss most about my mom, the connection that I had with her, that she passed and it's like, it's gone. And I, I know it's gone. I feel that it's gone. It's a struggle going through without her, living these days without that, that raw emotion that she showed me. I mean, it's, I can't even explain the type of feeling I had when I was around her. It was like, that's when I was happiest. And honestly, I haven't been that happy since she passed. And I don't think I'll ever be as happy as I was with her. My mom, Janique, is like my everything. She's responsible for all I have and all I am. She's a single mom and works very hard to make me and my sister comfortable. She sacrificed everything to keep us together and help us form the amazing, irreplaceable bond that we have. You came into a world with a mother, definitely, who was greatly glad to see you 
and that gave you a whole lot of love and whether she was young or old or single or not that you were given the care and as many comforts as you could possibly have regardless of whatever sacrifice it was on my part. The biggest hardship is, um, that I found as being a single mom is probably most likely just trying to keep enough money so that I can continue to care for my kids. Your dads are somewhat in the picture but not at the same time. Of course, I've taken a lot of mediocre jobs to make sure that I've always been available and had a flexible schedule and on the career, career side that has been a great personal sacrifice for me. We have been solidly together and we have the bond that we have, I believe, because we've been solidly together. And I skipped all of that, all the luxury of adults' free time. I made my lifestyle very simple so that I could focus on you guys and make sure that your needs were being met. And for that, I'm very, very glad that I did do that. These people in my life, um, they inspire me every day. And in my eyes, they're true success stories because they live the lives that they want to lead. I don't need to turn on the TV to find a success story. I don't need to turn on the TV to find my hero because I see them every day.